Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to declare JavaScript variables. This is sort of the basic, most basic thing that you can do in JavaScript. In computer science, data is anything that is meaningful to the computer. JavaScript provides seven different data types, which are undefined, null, boolean, string, symbol, number, and object. Um, for example, computers distinguish between numbers such as 12 and strings such as uh, one, two, like the, and then dog, or one, two, three cats. So these are strings where you notice that these are the parentheses and then the number, this here is different. So here we have the string type and then this is a number type, they're different types. Boolean's true or false. Null is like, it doesn't exist. Undefined means that it has no definition. Um, let's see, what else? Symbol is a type of variable. Uh, uh, number is uh, zero to nine and then collections of those. And then objects are sort of like objects are just uh, uh, collections of data that are organized in a specific way. You're going to learn to love objects if you like JavaScript. Uh, computers can perform mathematical operations on a number but not a string. So you can't add cats and dogs, uh, but you can add three and four. Variables allow computers to store and manipulate data in, in a dynamic fashion. They do this by using a label to point to the data rather than using the data itself. Any of the seven data types may be stored in variables. Uh, variables are similar to X and Y variables you use in mathematics, which means they're a simple name to represent the, the, uh, what we want to refer to. Computer vari variables differ from mathematical variables in that they can store different values at different times. We tell JavaScript to create or declare a variable by putting the word var in front of it, like so. And then they show you an example, var our name, and then they put the semicolon. Think of the semicolon as periods, like you use them uh, as often as you use a period when you're writing English. You want to have your semicolons. Um, despite the fact that sometimes semicolons will seem unimportant, they are important, and you should try to do always write your code as um, consistently as you normally do. And that means always using semicolons when it's appropriate. Um, so we want to create a variable called our name in the JavaScript. <clears throat> we, in JavaScript, we end statements with semicolons. Oh, there we go. Variables, variable names can be made of numbers, letters, and uh, bl bling or underscores, but may not contain spaces uh, or s start with a number. Use var keyword to create a variable called my name. So they've got, already have it here that says our name. That shouldn't, that doesn't declare anything. So we can go var uh, my name. Uh, yeah, so this is the example. They give you this example so you can copy it here. They want you to put it below the line. So I'm just going to uh, get rid of it here and put it here. And if we run the test, we'll see they pass. I want to just do a little bit more in depth on this. Uh, so for example, if we wanted to see their variables, we can just say console.log. This is how we log it. So we put information into here and then we can put my name. Now, so what, what it's doing is it's running through this program. It's saving our name and then my name. And to to their uh, to the memory, and then we're console logging my name. But my name is doesn't equal anything right now. And so if we were to make my name equal to Ian, which it is, you'll see that it console logs here. So what's happening? We're running through here. The computer is remembering the variables, and then it's reading out my name, which says. And then because this name is in the computer's memory, it will read this now. Um, let's say let's say we wanted to make the variable equal to one one and then variable two equal to two. And then we could console.log one, two. And then this will give us the numbers one and two. And if we were to change this to plus, we'll get three because the console actually renders this and does this mathematical calculation before it returns its final variable. And so I hope that this helps um, sort of specify it a little bit more. In order to pass the test, I wanna make sure my name isn't listed there. But this just gives you an idea for that. Um, with this, you could also do one divided by two, and you'll get 0.5. Um, what have, uh, and yeah, so that's a good start for naming variables, because they described that you can have strings in here. Uh, what happens if we made this one, the string one, and then two, the string two? You can see JavaScript puts them together, and then it becomes a string. So it puts one plus two together. And then you get one, two, rather than if you had, uh, you know, two and one, you get th the number three. 
because these are different variable types. So that gives you a little bit more in-depth description of the meaning behind string and the meaning behind number and how JavaScript uh, renders the different variables together. And so we run the test. I think it'll pass. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going a little bit more in-depth than maybe the lesson requires. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.